Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Fusion. This generation here from year 2013 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you have a problem where a rear view camera does not work. We'll explain what we see here quite often in the garage. Which two fuses you need to check. It could be super simple fix. And we will explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. When we get a car here at the garage, we try to make at least 200 free repair videos absolutely to you guys. We make a video about every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car doesn't start, you can easily identify what causes that. You can search for engine starter fuse, uh, fuel pump fuse. Let's say that's a problem, you replace it, you're back in the road. It takes less than two minutes to watch the video, guys. So uh, that will be, guys, our mission to make your life easier and to solve your problem. Now, uh, in addition, guys, we have other channels as well. We make two 300 free repair videos on every car we get at the garage, take them completely apart. We do engine uh, work, transmission, body work, engine codes, fuses, anything like that. Now, why we do that? To save you money, guys. So, uh, on this Ford Fusion, there are different years, okay, through, uh, through the uh, different models through the years, from 2013 all the way to 2020. There will be some minor differences about the fuses, so if you uh, notice that we mentioned up to two, three different fuses for the same thing, it could be because uh, it could be a different fuse for a different year, but we are trying to help all of you with that generation for Fusion, so let's start on it now. So guys, if the rear view camera does not work, we're going to demonstrate on this Ford Fusion here what can easily cause that. Now, first we need to check two fuses where they're located in a fuse box under the hood. But you have many hidden fuse boxes. We will, we will recommend to check the video about fuse box location on our YouTube channel. Go ahead, open the hood. Under the hood, here guys, on the driver's side, you have that fuse box. Okay, that has a cover, okay, like that, like a T, remove it, underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test the fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so another thing guys before i forget if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for ford fusion or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste your money and time here specifically we need to check two fuses that can control the rear view camera if we come in that row of fuses you're going to start counting now fuse number 18, 19, 20. Fuse number 20 is the first one that you need to check. Then 21, 2, 3. That fuse right here guys, 20 and 23. Other things that can cause the rear view camera not to work. It could be guys, a bad camera. They're exposed to the elements, water, uh, cold, freeze, all kind of stuff. So eventually they could fail. We've seen where the connector for the camera is not plugged in and only one time where the trunk opens, all the cables that transfer from the trunk to the body, the trunk was opened multiple times, probably was used such as a delivery vehicle and as a result the wire was pinched there. We had that happen one time guys. Another thing, uh, you need to make sure that your shifter, the lever works correctly. If it doesn't detect that it's in reverse, uh, that can cause the rear view camera not to work as well. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.